I am tired of this. I don't think I can do this anymore. We can't afford these things. Neither can I. We have never been able to enjoy ourselves. What's the point of any of this? Hi, my name is Patricia, and that's my parents arguing. And I'd like to get a big family secret off my chest. I abandoned my parents and let them starve, knowing full well I could help them. I know it sounds terrible, but I'd like you to try and understand why I did it. I grew up in a lower class family. We didn't really have much to our name. You see, mom was a shoe cleaner and my father worked as a janitor. Now you might think that I'm being snobbish, turning up my nose on what my parents did to support their child. The truth of the matter is, that's not the issue I had with them. Sure, other children had more things than I did, but I would have been okay with it if my mom and dad had given me the affection and love I needed as a kid. They didn't really make me feel like I deserved anything at all. And they never tried hard to give me anything that made me feel special. They neglected me at every turn. I always thought to myself that when I got older, I was going to buy myself everything I ever wanted. I would travel to every single location I had always dreamed of visiting. This was the motivation that kept me pushing myself to study hard and work even harder. The thing is, I wouldn't stop striving to fulfill my goals no matter the consequences. And it worked! I managed to graduate from college as an accountant and began my own company soon after. My past is filled with sleepless nights and exhaustion, but it was all worth it. Before I even turned 27, I was able to make a profit of over one million per year. And I easily afforded lavish houses, and all sorts of luxury cars. I had everything anyone could ask for. Money rolled in like water out of a faucet. I could just go on these amazing shopping sprees because the dollars just kept pouring in. After a few years, I decided to purchase a failing business for cheap and then turned it into a massive success. When I saw this could be done with effort and a big initial investment, I decided to do it again. And then again and again, that doubled and even tripled my income. I began making over $20,000 of profit an hour. And I knew that I'd be able to keep on making that profit grow over time. I met an amazing guy who was as ambitious as I was. He also had been able to get several endeavors going from the ground up. I knew I had finally met my match. We pushed each other to strive for more, to work harder, and made each other very happy. So a year after we found each other, we decided to get married. From that point on, we began working on each other's companies to improve each other's investments with our own experience. There was only one thing missing in my life, and that was my parents. Somewhere along the way, we had drifted apart. I had a deeply rooted resentment for them denying me any happiness when I grew up, I knew that they never made much of themselves, and up to a few years ago, they kept living in the tiny, miserable house where they raised me. I wondered if I made a big mistake by not approaching them, helping them out of their situation, and forgiving them for the neglect they put me through. Through all these years, I let my parents starve while I enjoyed a luxurious life, and it didn't really bother me at all. I didn't even move a finger when I found out that the bank had foreclosed their house and they had been forced to live on the street. I have to admit something terrible to you now. I would sometimes drive past the place they squatted on the street, a mangled makeshift shaft they'd made out of garbage. Eventually, though, something broke inside me. I couldn't let my parents continue living that way. No matter how much they hurt me, they were the ones who brought me into this world. So I finally decided to walk to where they lived, on the dirty streets, and finally let them know why I had left their side, and why I hadn't tried to help them even after all these years. My mom and dad were so incredibly shocked to see me, and they began to cry and apologize as soon as I let them know everything I had been keeping bottled up for so long. They explained that... We never meant to make you feel that way. We were in over our heads and dealing with a rough patch in our lives. It just kept getting worse and worse. No matter what we did, we didn't even know how to take care of you or how to provide for you. This made us become distant. 
I thought they didn't really love me, but the truth of the matter was they were desperate and ashamed. I finally realized that neither of us had been open about our feelings. Perhaps if we had spoken before I escaped from their side, everything would have been fixed much sooner. Finally, I let them know how I live, what I made of myself. They were impressed, but undeniably hurt. It was my turn to apologize. I asked them to come with me and promised to finally help them as I should have years back. I gave them one of my houses and a brand new car, as well as money to put their lives back on track. We were finally fixing our broken relationship, and they were so happy to meet their son-in-law and grandchildren. I think my story should be a cautionary tale to remind you all of how precious your family is. If you can avoid it, you truly shouldn't let an argument get between you and those you love. Thanks for watching! Have you ever distanced yourself from your siblings or parents after a fight? Tell us about it in the comments! Don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on our channel!